welcome back to Ask Nikki P. Before we hop right in, as usual, my channels are sponsored by Netflix. If you use the link, netflix.com slash Nikki, you get a free 30-day trial of Netflix. I'm obsessed with Netflix. I love it. It's amazing. Unlimited streaming TV shows, movies, documentaries, TED Talks, and yeah, you can sign up, give it a try, and if you like it, it's a really cheap, awesome addition to your life. And if you don't, you don't really have much to lose. It's a free 30-day trial. So, I'm going to jump right in. Hey Nikki, I have been with, with my boyfriend for two and a half years. We are both 20 years old and have both talked about how we are done dating because we have found the one. The problem is I know I will be ready for marriage sooner than he will by quite a few years. This is something we have talked about and he is more focused on us being 20 years old first. I want him to have this time to be young, but I'm not sure how to avoid looking at our relationship like a marriage. I don't want to be too uptight about our relationship because I often find myself putting marriage expectations on him. I would love to hear your thoughts on how to focus on being young while maintaining a serious relationship. Thanks so much. Okay, I personally think, and I feel like a lot of you guys are going to have a lot to say in the comments, um, because you're allowed to, you can spit out your opinions, but I personally think, from my experience, that being young and being married, it's not, they're not like completely clashing things. Dan and I got married, I was 20, he was 21, for those who don't know. We were basically 21 and 22, because it was like two months, three months before our birthdays, but wait, March, April, May, yeah, three, four months before our birthdays, but we were 20, 21, and we just decided that to us, marriage just meant hey, we're committed, we obviously found each other, and we, for us, we didn't want to live with each other or sleep with each other until we were married. So we were like, I already know I want to be with you, so let's just get married, but then let's not spend a lot of money on, like, our living situation so that we can still kind of act irresponsible like young people. We were not ready to have, like, a ton of responsibilities and just really being adults. So we moved into a garage that was converted into a studio apartment, when we first got married and we only paid $800 a month for rent and what we did with all the rest of that money is we lived like 20 year olds we would go out to eat all the time with our friends we would go to the movies all the time we would just go do 20 year old kind of not irresponsible but hey we don't have a crap ton of bills or kids kind of stuff so for me I don't feel like those are exclusive I don't feel like if you're gonna be young, you're gonna be young and you can't be married. Or if you're married, you're gonna be married and you can't act young. I think it's just a mentality of like, okay, we're gonna be committed, let's get married. Um, so I'd say it's worth evaluating, A, how important that is to you. It sounds like it's really important, but really sit down and be honest with yourself and then have an honest conversation with him and really try to get the truth out of him and be prepared that you may not like the answer, but he may just need to really hear from you how important this is to you if you've sat down, evaluated it, and you're like, yes, this is really important to me. But you need to let him know, um, and you need to make it very serious because this is your life, so you need to decide, like, is this something you're willing to compromise, and are you sure, if marriage is really important, are you sure he's going to ask you to marry him? Because I have many friends and I've had many people write in on Ask Nikki that have stuck it out with guys for years and then the guy ended up not even proposing. The guy just broke up with them and it does tend to seem like if it's been a long time and you're telling the guy you want to get married and he's like whoa like putting brakes on for some reason it seems to be a pattern that they're just not that into you. I mean, that's the most horrible way to word it, like from that book. But it's like, it does tend to seem like if a guy wants to marry a girl, he knows and he's not so like, breaks on, breaks on. Um, everyone is different. So that's not like everyone on the planet. But I would just really decide what you want, sit down, talk to him, and be okay with being true to what you want and really finding out does he really want to marry you? Is marriage really a priority for him? And is it really a priority for you? Because it's okay to be like, no, this is a priority for me. And if you don't want to marry me, then it's time for me to go and find someone else. I mean, that's, that's life. You're setting up your future. So, um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just my thoughts. I hope that didn't come out harsh. Um, all right, I'm going to open up the Twitter question and here we go. It says, do you want to have kids and how many? I've answered this a bunch of times. Yes, I do want to have kids. We want to have like 
I think we want to end up having like three or four kids, but we think we want to have like two kids and then adopt two or two and adopt one. I'm not quite sure yet because we're not really there yet. I feel like I can't be like, this is exactly what we want because I feel like sometimes when us as people, we tend to be so like, it's like this, 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 and then we hit reality and we're like, oh, just kidding. So I can't really speak from that yet. I'm not in that boat, but I think we want like three to four kids. Um, and I'm not sure when we could start trying to have kids in a year, two years, three years, four years, not quite sure. We're kind of playing it by ear based on what's going on in our life and what we feel is right. And yeah, we're just kind of playing it by ear. So uh, that's the end of the video, but I will see you all very soon. Send your messages to asknikkip at gmail.com or use the hashtag asknikkip and I'll see you later. Bye guys.